parts of our game is the sack bunt. A few key things to note here is a sack bunt, you are sacrificing yourself to move your runners into better scoring position. That means that when we square around to bunt, we don't want to be moving out of that box too soon. We want to make sure that that bunt is down before that we go to first base. Positioning for a sack bunt. We want to make sure that our body is turned from our stance in balance and turned towards the pitcher. A lot of people talk about squaring all the way up to the pitcher. Some people just turn. That's all preference and you should probably do what your coach teaches. The way we teach it is to get this back foot slightly out so that you have a good solid base, a little bend in your knees, and get these arms at the top of the strike zone. If our arms are at the top of the strike zone already, any ball that's higher than that, we already know it's a ball. So we can go ahead and pull back. Anything that's lower than that, all we're gonna do is bend our knees to get to the ball. The other key thing is we wanna make sure that we have plate coverage. So if our arms are out here in front of our chest, we have no plate coverage out here. We wanna make sure that we're out here in front and making sure that we have that outside plate covered, the inside part covered, and we can get that ball down. Another thing to note, with with our barrel of our bat, we want to slightly angle it up. That's going to allow us to keep our barrel above the ball and make sure that that ball goes down and doesn't pop up in the air. And we all know a bunt popped up isn't good for our team. we got to make sure that that ball is down on the ground with a very slight angle in our bat. 